Hey guys, what is up? So a lot of you have asked me how I balance the power for my rigs in a house. Here is an electrical panel. This one is a 100, 100 amp. So it's okay, it's not great. This is just like a standard old electrical panel in North America. I'm not sure if you guys use different ones in Europe or somewhere like that. So these are 15 amp breakers on 120 volt power. These dual breakers here are 30 amp and this will be 240 volt. So like things like the dishwasher uses this. I've got power going to the garage using that. This is one that I put in myself. So this one runs my mining rigs right here. So this is a 30 amp, 240 volt. So I ran this wiring myself to that room and then I've got a special plug. I can't remember what it's called. Don't quote me on this, C14 or something like that. I don't know what it is anyways. It goes to 240 volt PDU and then most of my rigs plug into there. So for my other rigs, I've also got 240 out here in the garage. So this pretty much most of my rigs in this house are split between these. And then I've got some other ones on these 15 amp plugs. So with these 15 amp plugs, what you want to do, if they're labeled in your house, awesome. If not, you've got some searching to do. But even these ones, what you're gonna wanna do is get a, a little light like this or whatever, just something that plugs into the outlet and has a visual signal on it. In this case, you can turn the light on when it's plugged in. So you wanna plug those into the socket and then start flipping the breakers. And you wanna find out which sockets are on each of these breakers. And you don't wanna run more than like 1500 watts worth of computers or like one kind of medium powered rig per breaker. So each one of these 15 amp breakers will have its own computer on it. You don't wanna run more than one. So like, that's, that's what you do. And if you have a really powerful rig running two, three power supplies, something like that, you can even split it. So you'll wanna have one, one, uh, what do you call it? surge, one surge protector kind of outlet thing on one, another one on the other, and you just fire them both up at the same time on your computer. That way it splits the load. You never wanna overload these circuits. And then on top of that, you want to get Get the biggest, heaviest duty outdoor power plug uh, extension cable you can get. So go get like uh, nothing more than 16 gauge, like 16 gauge, 18 gauge, that's not big enough. You need like 14 or 12, something like that. The biggest, heaviest duty extension cable you can get and then run it, run it to like this plug. Find where this plug is in the house if you want them all in the same room and run that super heavy duty extension cable from one of these plugs to where you want your computer. Same with this, you don't wanna be running low powered extension cables. If the wires aren't thick enough, you can cause heating issues, you can overload the wire, all kinds of stuff. So definitely get really heavy duty extension cables. Some big, big, big bad outdoor ones are usually gonna do it. You know, make sure it's the heaviest gauge you can possibly find and then split the load among all of these breakers. And then don't also over overload your system where this main breaker is gonna go. So this happens to me if I run the dryer or if I've got some stove elements and the dishwasher running, the house will trip and I need to flip the whole house breaker and then flip it back and then you have to manually turn on all your computers and it's, it's crazy. I find when the whole house trips, things don't start properly you need to manually turn everything back on. So that's kind of what I do. So one computer for each of these. And yeah, the easiest way to do that is plug that into a socket and then just start, you know if you found one that turns off, find all the sockets that don't light this up and you know that those are all the ones on the breaker, go to the next one and just keep going down, label everything and then that way you know kind of where you can run things. So like in my instance in here, in the basement, I'm running the 30 amp that I put in. I've got a vacuum cleaner here in the corner, which I don't use that central vac. So I know that that vacuum cleaner has its own 15 amp plug. So I'm running a big heavy duty extension cable off of where that plugs in to my mining room. 
I've got a dedicated plug in the basement for a freezer which doesn't actually use the whole 15 amp so I've got like a thousand watt computer on that one and the basement wall sockets the basement room wall sockets obviously has computers in it so that's another one that I can use the actual bathroom downstairs here I have a big heavy-duty extension cable running from there and it's split pretty good in some instances I don't do it here because I've got the 240 volt but I would have two different ones running the same computer so like an extension cord from this one extension cord from plugs running this one both of them would be on power bars with switches on them and then when you fall and fire the computer up you just hit both of those at the same time, fire them both up, and then like one power one or two power supplies would be on one breaker, another power supply on the other breaker. And that way you can run like a big 2500 watt computer. I think that the most you can run on one of these plugs is 1800 watts. I can't remember. It's 120 volts times, it'd be 120 volts times 18 amps, so 120 times 18 would tell you what the absolute max is that you can put on it but don't go there you always want to give yourself 80 percent space like 80 percent headroom on top of that so just like take 80 percent 0.8 times whatever the max is and that's the highest you should be running plus if you're running other things on it like you're running light bulbs on it you're running maybe like some laptops or tv or something that'll lower your wattage as well so don't put more than 1500 watts on on each one of these circuits even less than that is better, like 1200 watts I think is about the best per circuit if you're going to be running other stuff on it as well. That's kind of what I am doing to split my power on my rigs. Hope this helps somebody. Let me know if you've got more questions. I am not an electrician. Don't take, like, do your own research, do due diligence. If you're doing anything crazy, if you're putting breakers in, if you're doing anything, call an electrician. Don't play with live wires. Do not ever play with live wires. No live power. Anytime I put breakers in here or I do something like that, I shut off the main power and then you disconnect it from the house. So there's zero power going into the house. So if you accidentally touch a wire or something, you're okay. You know, electricity is serious business. Don't get yourself killed over it. Don't mess around with it. Take it very seriously. Call an electrician. That's, that's my advice, I guess. If you're doing anything crazy, anything more than just little house home mining, do it, do it the right way. This could be dangerous stuff. Hope somebody gets something out of this. Let me know in the comments. I will talk to you guys later.